Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway here in Los Angeles. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. In the course of the game, we focus on the offense and the defense, and we give lip service to the special teams. It's way bigger than that. The third phase of any football team, and special teams provided the spark to begin this game. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. They work now on second and nine. Herbert. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up. Touchdown, LA! Austin Edward, 36 yards. And the Chargers need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. So they get the ball on the opening drive. They take it in for the score. And how about setting the tone right away? Everyone talks about wanting to do that, but you always hear it in every locker room. First five minutes of the game, who's going to set the tone? Who's going to take control? Guess who just did? Well, now on the next drive, you, you, when you score that quickly or you're scored that quickly against, probably feel like you need to respond. Yeah, without a doubt. In other words, you've actually put the pressure even more so on your opponent. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Nope, Birds there. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Still on his feet. Touchdown! Dallas Goddard, 75 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. I mean, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? Elliott Good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Charger drive about to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, go lion, 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 lion. Crowd run, crowd run, crowd run. Set. Back to the air, Herbert on second down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. But they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. 
but incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. That's into a crowd and intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage. And it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction. Excellent blocking. And Elliott now to have the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Charger drive about to get going. Fresh off of six the other way, it's Herbert. And this caught left side by the tight end Parham. And he'll have this pass the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 15 yards is the pick up there on the drive starting very nicely. First down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy have hit with the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Running on first down, Eckler. There he goes, left side. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. 94 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. On first down, Justin Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Yes, and the Chargers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy. And that's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, 75 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key 
is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just look. Hey, man, give that water break and get on out there and play. Elliott on for the extra point. Now, before they can try the extra point, a flag comes out, and they're going to get tagged for a delay of game. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Another attempt now from five yards further back. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Charger drive about to get going. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, they're <laughs> enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Inside the 10. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't it? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame. And any time he didn't get rid of the ball within this, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. Gainwell is into the end zone for an eagle touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You have three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Elliott now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Charger drive about to get going. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. 
Here's second and ten. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he'll get this up to about the 40. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Eckler. And some room to work. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Under a minute to go, clock running in a back and forth first quarter of play. It's Eckler again. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now a second and ten. They'll try the air now with Herbert. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Herbert. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a second and four coming up. on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Back to throw here, Herbert. This is swung out to Eckler. Two yards on the pick up there. And it brings up third and five now. need five on this play to move the sticks. Here's Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Up the middle with Eckler. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers have cut it back within a score. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I get some more. I get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. To the Dicker field goal. He's back out, ready to send it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, 
There's no way they can stop us. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. But first down, Hurts. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Here now is second and ten. Well, you got to think, Charles, that one's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. Chargers are going to get the football here at their own 23. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Jalen Carter in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Now third down and very long. Hey, Ram, Ram, Ram. Now it's Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. First down now, but that clock rolling. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now Herbert got to get into the line in a hurry. Throwing on second down, Herbert. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And that's complete to the right side of Taylor. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 
Howard with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. Okay, so now the question, how did he get that wide open? Well, we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game, he was circled, starred, everything. Find him, cover him. But sometimes you can scheme a guy open. You put the receivers in a bunch. Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put them on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. After the encroachment penalty, here's second and five. From the 50, here's Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 40. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. So second down and ten. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Herbert. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. First and ten, Herbert working the middle here. That's complete to Abbott, the tight end. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Just picking up yardage and bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Go. Again, he'll drop to throw. Forced out to his left. And he is out of bounds here. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Herbert going to keep it on his sneak. And he is in to the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Justin Herbert in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chargers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Dicker down attack on the extra point. 
He's got it. This thing's turning a bit wild here. We're tied at 28. remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this no, offense no, no. sweat out half number one. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. it in and it's intercepted picked up by J.C. Jackson and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half and that'll do it for the end of the second quarter this is the NFL and it's on EA Sports We welcome you back live now inside the booth along set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard. And the half will begin with a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play? to really help out my team and break this streak of offense. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself, you don't hook it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. 63, 63, 63. Throwing his hurts. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. 
picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. So an opening drive interception to begin this second half. And just think about the time you spend in the locker room going over what you expected to do in the second half. Not the way they saw it, not the way they drew it up. You find out this is something that you can't just edit, right? There's no rewrite here. This is live, and now they've got to find a way out of this hole. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard. Touchdown, Chargers! Josh Palmer, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Chargers take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. So this game tied at the half, and we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Sets up to throw it. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. Well, they got a takeaway on the last drive with an interception. How about this sack? Is a terrific follow up, and that keeps pressure on this offense, and it could force him into more rush decisions or another turnover. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. A give, Eckler running to the right. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time, every defense is still gonna say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Second down and six now. Justin Herbert looking to pass. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. If 
fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you're throwing so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Eckler will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. From the two now, second and goal. Trying to punch it in with Eckler. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. What a stand this would be if they can get the stop here. Third and goal. And this will be caught in the end zone for the Chargers touchdown. Josh Palmer with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Chargers are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And a lead now up to 14. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. You all know. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And incomplete on the deep ball. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And he will be taken down with a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter.
No, they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Hey, 73, 73. He'll drop to throw. He's got Watkins on the out route. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical. And you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You have the first one for the second one to even matter. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. That winds up pushing it back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. Hey, 73, 73. They're going to look to throw. And that is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth, and the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. So from the 36 now, first and 10. <laughs> Herbert now. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, 36 yards. And the Chargers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, this, of course, set up by the stop a moment ago on fourth down. And now that might be the score that puts this one officially out of reach. And it's a tough one because your hands are tied when you're losing in the fourth quarter because you know you've got to make something happen. They couldn't pick up the first down. And after that, the air just went right out of the balloon. And you knew you were looking at a defeated team. After the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. The slot man in motion right. Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that's caught inside the 30. A big play there for Philly. 48 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to throw again. Again, that's Watkins. Down inside the 10. Touchdown, Eagles. Quez Watkins with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. 
No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Two scores down, two timeouts at their disposal. This is a critical onside kick. Interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. The uh, Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Second down, here's Hurts. Buying time to his left. That's complete to Swift out of the backfield. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A two timeout still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and 10. They'll set up a throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. To throw again on second down. Hurts. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. On third down, here comes Swift. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it looks like the Chargers are going to win this thing. The Charger drive about to get going. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. They're going to pass here with Herbert. And that one complete downfield to Allen. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. Go, go, go. 
They'll come up first and ten here. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Well, this was a fun one today if you like. 